295 is the trip. The green light is through to the control town. The lure rolls. Ready for the first. Set. And racing. Best out wide. Home was flight. And uh, one or two missed it. Jamaican Archie very slow. And so was home was Zippy getting back and Gossip Queen. But on the corner. Getting in front here. Grand Apache. And round the outside of Parmaline Meat. Charging home. Gossip Queen. Up they come. Getting home to win it. Grand Apache will beat. Oh, Parmaline Meat. They're followed by Gossip Queen. Close up. Tell the boys. Jamaican Archie wide. Further back there we go to Sweet Mary Lou. A little gap there to home was Zippy. And back at the tail of the field we had home was flight. It's the first on the program. And that Grand Apache, good to see that back and winning form again this evening. Grand Apache has got the prize here on the opening event. Green light is through. Lua rolling here for the first of the quaddy race two set. Racing, one of the best out would have been in the middle. A uh, homeless Riley and round the outside, homeless Rufus. And here's where's the gold going to the front wide. They're followed getting into it, only got time a length of two back of power. Opal around the corner, homeless Rufus. And down the outside, where's the gold? will get over the top here. Where's the gold? Will beat homeless Rufus along the inside late. A uh, power Opal only got time. Jimmy Hammer, they're followed by homeless Riley. Uh, further back, there we go to Cabarita. And Thunderstorm was never in it. That was back near the tail of the field. There's the first of the quaddy race two and where's the gold? Uh, double price winner here around about 10.40 and 2.40 at the close. And the little rolls here for the third. Set. And racing, nice break too. Mickey T left the boxes nicely. So did Corbon Jelly right behind them about town and round the outside. Collected money trying to go forward. They're followed up their showroom. They come to the corner. Mickey T the outside and down on the inside. Corbon Jelly class prevails. Mickey T back in winning form will beat Corbon Jelly. Third, I think, might have been showroom. Right there about town and down the outside, no pride. They're followed further back there by Bad Week. Uh, that was back there with Collected Money and Porky Pig would have been back there as well. Mickey T jumped a lot better tonight and there was up with a play with Corborn Jelly, these two former top sprinters. Fourth on the card, ready. Racing. Adjudicator slow. Best out om nom nom. Flies out and followed out. Screw and bolts got round and they're followed by increasing off the track, getting around Norman Jewel. They're followed no salute. I forget adjudicator. It's back last up they come. Om nom nom's got away. Om nom nom will beat screw and bolt down the outside. Norman Jewel to third. They're followed further back there by no salute. A length of two back there increasing. Followed further back there by Homeless Group. And the disappointing favourite adjudicator never got warm at any stage it's run last here's race four and that's what i mean by it's all in with the jump either you jump or you don't in this game and uh, adjudicated just missed away rather badly got squeezed up as well that didn't help it and back at the tail of the field it went it was never going to win from there was it and om nom nom just out like a startled rabbit got away to the front and put a margin on them and it's bolted it om nom nom will beat the eight And racing, one of the best out of the middle. Zebediah followed out there by Mandy May. Around uh, the outside, Spider Girl is up there. Now there's trouble. Uh, one or two went back. Mandy May got pushed back and well back at this stage. One's here around the corner. Zebediah in front. Out by about two or three. And Zebediah, Zebediah will get the prize. Second home must desire. Then we've got Spider Girl and down the outside, late replay. Further back, there we go to my first litter. There followed onesie towards the tail. Mandy May and Red Hot Fury. There you have it, race five, and start 169 tonight, Zebediah. The old fella, he just jumped brilliantly, didn't he? Off the boxes, straight to the lead.
Green light is through to the control tower and the lure rolls here for race number six, set. And racing, Ginger Jaffa Fair, best out, no security, and wide on the track going up there, Amber Light and zooming through the centre. A power candles is a power candle, no, it's not, it's red margin that's gone to the front. So down the back, red margin, ginger jaffa, right behind them a power candle. There followed Ginger Jaffa. Round the outside up there, no security. There followed off the track, Boston Billy. Further back there we go, a power cura and Corbin Wales around the corner. Red margin cutting through on the inside though. Amber light, amber light dashes away and will beat Red Margin, Ginger Jaffa to third, then there's a line-up. Not sure after that, Opawa Candle, Boston Billy wide, Opawa Kuru, they're followed by towards the tail, no security in Corbin, Wales. This race six, Amberlight back, back in winning form tonight and that's just dashed up and underneath that Red Margin turning for home and it's got away to score nicely. Amberlight will score. Green light is through, and the lure rolls, set, ready, and racing, Dizzy State out fairly well, smash that, beat it out, going up wide on the track, get ready Freddie, now Dizzy State disappeared back through the pack, going around the outside, Air Express off the track, Karamas running on, up they come, and over the outside, Karamas has just mown them down, or get home and score, then we've got Air Express, not sure about third, smash that right beside it, We'd have uh, right there too, we had Kanegi Hall, and they're followed by Dizzy State. Beside them there, we had heading the rest home, Homebush Ariel, and that was back near the tail of the field. There's the running of race seven, and that Karamas has boomed home over the top here. Karamas will get home and score. They were rolling and we're ready to jump. Set. And racing. Trust issues off the boxes nicely and along the inside, Gold Star Poe hits the lead though. They're followed by Magic Emily along the inside, Botany Kevin. Out very wide, Gold Star Junior. They're followed further back there by No Danger, length and a half, No Worth getting back and Unova Bale. Down the back, Gold Star Poe in front. They're followed by Botany Kevin, Trust Issues. It's about two lengths away, looking to unwind. A length and a half back, Gold Star Junior. Round the outside, No Danger starts to run now on the corner. Gold Star Poe though with a big lead. Here's No Danger down the outside, but Gold Star Poe's got it wrapped up. Gold Star Pale beat No Danger. Trust the shoes, then a lineup. Gold Star Junior Magic Emily. Out very wide was no worth there, followed by Unova Bale. And that was back with Botany Kevin towards the tail. Gold Star Poe's been too strong here. The four. Four blue Gold Star Poe. No danger. Huge run. Got too far back, but got into it very late. And that trust the shoes up there. Green light is through and the lure rolls. First leg of the quaddy. Set. And racing. Feynman Galaxy slow. Back there also wheelchair norm. Best out Bose business round the outside. Corbon Dozer. Now railing up there. Quadrago. They're followed by Feynman's Galaxy. Getting into it now. Quadrago. Here's Feynman's Galaxy. If it gets up, it's a big run. Feynman's Galaxy will beat Quadrago. They're followed in photos. Either Bose business or down on the inside. Smash rumor. That's tight. They're followed further back. There we go to Homeless Page. And New was back with wheelchair norm. Gee, that's been a huge run by Feynman's Galaxy. One of the tail enders at the jump. Have a look at this. Just couldn't win from there, could it? Look at it. And then it rolled up. It got a gap. Gee, it still had six lengths to make up. And then it got into it very quickly.
and racing. Another Liz jumped out nicely and going hard there. We've got Breaking Mad and going up home was Kelso. Between them roadworks, the rail opening up can't catch Tim. Homebush Howard's got back past midfield. Southern Light zooming around the outside. And well back at Para Rosie. She's been spat out the back. Down the back they go. Breaking Mad, the leader. Out after it can't catch Tim and winding into the race nicely. Southern Lights. Five lengths back then. They're followed by another Liz around the corner. Southern Lights has moved up and hit the lead. Along the inside. Can't catch Tim coming back. He's got there. Can't catch Tim Southern Lights. Breaking Mad, another Liz. They were followed home with Kelso. Further back, there we go to the next one there, a par of Rosie. And that was back with uh, Homebush Howard towards the tail. There we have it. Southern Lights ranged up. I thought he was going to win halfway down the straight, but can't catch Tim's come back to score. The two will get this. Can't catch Tim. Just when Southern Lights ranged up. Lewis comes round ready, racing. Aiden Baxter jumped nicely. Shadow Apache and going up a little wider as home was Rocky. Driving through Mojo Burst along the rail. Check their Black Crow off the track, no knowing. Around the corner, Aiden Baxter trying hard. Shadow Apache, but Aiden Baxter in front. Shadow Apache, a length and a half back. Third was Mojo Burst. They're followed by Homebush Rocky. Further back there we go to Black Crow. Uh, Black Crow was followed further back there by Opara Rocket. No knowing was back with Gold Star Chumley. There's race 11. No doubt the winner here. And Aidan Baxter's got home. Three the white. Jumped tonight. Aidan Baxter. Shadow Apache showed a bit of speed as well, but Aidan Baxter just showed more. And racing, best out would have been Corbon PJ and round the outside, Terramondo matching motors with it. Now getting up in the oh, just on heels there, Harkin and Bale getting up in the inside, Rodriguez. Behind them, New Thang. They're followed further back by another fan around the corner, kicking away Terramondo. Terramondo will get home. Then we've got in photos, Corbon PJ, right there, Rodriguez, Harkin and Bale. They cut, out, they cut each other out of the race, really. They're followed back, we go there too. Another fan. Well back at Power Idol and also back there, New Thang towards the tail. There we have it, race 12 and uh, Terra Mondo. I was just looking at that well pay. That was our fourth selection. We took three in the quaddy and that was paying uh, over 1,200.